Welcome back to my battle map tutorial series. It's been a little bit uh, since I've recorded a video mainly because I'm in between houses and staying uh, with a friend so it's uh, not the best sound quality room recording but here we go anyways. Uh, today we are going to work on creating a forest. So I've got basically a forest here which is fairly a lighter forest. Uh, then I also have a jungle forest um, but just quick easy ways I want to show you guys how to create forests because um, once you create the forest once you really don't need to create them again so first thing we want to do is we're going to create a group and we'll call this forest or trees usually I just call it trees okay and oftentimes I'll create a subgroup within there and call it set one or whatever you can call it whatever you want and then we'll just go and start loading some of our trees. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to work on creating another jungle forest. Um, though I already have some, but I figured it is easiest. There's also some other stuff I want to trade. So I'm going to load my palm trees. Uh, I've got a bunch of different trees. As you can see, I've got tons of trees in here. Uh, all the way down through all different types. And these I, I all get from Dungeonie. Um, there's my palms. Uh, and you can just watch my art assets map and go from there. Uh, let's go back here. Let's just close these two guys off. And then all I'm going to do is just drag these guys, these trees in here, and just start dropping them anywhere. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, you just want to sparse them out a little bit, or space them out. Okay, and so this is all we're going to do is just keep dropping these trees in here and go from there. I got two more. So obviously I only have, what, six main types of trees or different shapes, I should say, and colors um, that you can see. And as you can see, they're, oops, sorry. You know, we just... drag them and around and they're all in here so the easiest way you can do is just duplicate this set okay and then you just change it around alt it and move it around and you got you know a whole more trees and you can just keep repeating this but let's say you want some more trees um, and go from here so let's just grab this tree here I'm gonna desaturate him okay which will make him basically a black and white tree and then I'm just going to go back to image and adjust again. And this time I'm just going to go to color balance. And I'm just going to increase this. And now this is a nice dark deep green. He doesn't have the yellows or anything. Uh, I can put a little more cyan in there. Uh, let's see. There we go. Because you get some dark trees in the forest and jungle and stuff like that. So again there I can do that. And I'll, I'll do, I can do this with multiple trees. And if you actually crisscross different segments you can do the same but that's pretty much it is just doing this creating trees and again just and again if you do it at different levels so that's a little bit more uh, a little bit again different color so again each one's not going to be each other and then all I do is I just you know keep copying these things and keep rotating them shift them off it's okay if they go half off um, but this is why I put them in some groups because again you can just duplicate the subgroups you know and drag them and then usually when I get one off I'll uh, just move him back on and whoops move him there and do I get any others yeah this guy's off screen you know, so again it's just doing that and that's pretty much it for the, making a forest um, just different trees and different angles and stuff like that and then again, as you, as you move the individuals around so it's not going to be exactly, and you won't get a circle and stuff like that. Um, and again, you can just desaturate some of these if they're looking too much the same. And color balance, and then just again, go give it some green. Give this guy a little bit more. We'll just move them. Now, another thing I like to do is, because the trees are at different heights, you can go through and give all these guys individual um, drop shadows, but what I do is I actually put it on the group. And this way I can have a whole group. I don't have to do, 
you know, each one. And so it looks like I've already got this setting. So 24, again, you don't want too dark, um, just a few pixels. You want distance straight above, unless you want, you know, maybe a little bit of a sun shadow um, and go from there. And so I'll just copy that layer style and then just paste that onto these guys. probably a shortcut that I don't know about but so again then you can see like some trees are over other trees and hanging down some are low trees and stuff and you can do the same thing that I'm doing here as with your ground clutters you know so you create trees and, or rocks and stones and fallen trees and then you just put them in a group and you can easily move that group around change that group um, which is fairly nice and quick to do so again fairly quickly within a few minutes here I've now created you know, basically a full, full uh, jungle with enough trees, and then I can just you know put out the rest of the stuff. So that's it for this video. Just wanted a little short, quick trick to uh, create a forest, and you can do this with regular trees or palm trees or whatever you want. Thanks for watching. Bye.